You may not know it, but it is Craft Beer Week here in New Hampshire, and we're joined by a crew from Seventh Settlement Brewery in Dover. And what goes better with beer than pretzels, right? So you're making some pretzels. I'm joined by uh, Taylor, Josh, and Kevin. And how do we start off here? Uh, pretzels in the dough themselves are very, very simple. Just a few ingredients. We've got our flour, yeast, salt, sugar, butter, and then a liquid. Uh, today we've got water. You could certainly use beer, and I would recommend our 1623 Brown Ale or our Garish IPA as great uh, a way to start these breads. Uh, they, they work well with yeast, and of course, being made locally is uh, what we do. So. Uh, very simply, uh, we are going to have an alkaline water bath mm -hmm. uh, that is just a baking soda and water solution. We get a nice bubbly effect there. That's what makes the pretzel the pretzel. Uh, the other ingredients are simply kneaded together. We activate the yeast with warm water. Let that sit for a few. It will go into the flour. Sugar is going to feed the yeast. Butter is our leavening or our um, our oil rather mm -hmm. uh, and then the salt helps cut the gluten train the gluten chains in the bread itself all right so you wind up with a nice silky dough which is then braided uh, Kevin's going to demonstrate how we do our braid all right and you do the breads there right oui. and yes. I've heard that your food is amazing there at seven settlement Thank there you. in Dover it's incredible. they make everything from scratch and of course you do your own brews too yeah yeah we have a seven barrel brew house in there we have about eight to ten of our own beers on at all times. All right, a lot of uh, events going on because of Craft Beer Week, and you can find out more information heading to nhbeer.org. And so once those get braided, they go right in there, is that right? Yeah, they go right into the water bath. You just want that water to be simmering, not boiling. Um, and just a simple quick drop, allowing it to soak for about ten seconds in that, will change the gluten structure and really give you that pretzel feel. That looks great, and you're doing a wonderful job yes, there. This is a nice little French braid that we started doing. <laughs> My daughter was yeah. happy. Oh, it's great. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's quite snazzy, really fun to do, actually. Left to right, very simple. A lot of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff in food is very simple. So you always want to keep it that way. And you serve it up with some mustard. Is the mustard made with beer, too? Yeah, we do a garish IPA mustard in-house. We also do a beer cheese. Mm. Uh, beer cheese is super nice and silky smooth. Nice bite to the mustard, kind of almost that horseradishy. All right. And so that goes right in there? Yep, so this okay. gets transferred right into the water. Uh, and again, we're just giving it a quick soak. It's not in there very long. Uh, not and in there very long. we have a finished pretzel out here too, if yeah. people can see that, but looks beautiful. And uh, we only have a couple minutes, uh, a couple seconds here, but what are sure. some of the other items that you have on your menu that um, incorporate the beer into it? You know, so we incorporate the beer as much as possible. We use the spent grain, mm -hmm. um, and, and we really like to utilize everything. So. A lot of what we get is local. We do as much as we possibly can using mm -hmm. our local farmers, uh, fishermen, and so that really uh, allows us to just tie in with the beer that is locally produced, bringing that food right in, and then pairing them up. All right. Well, yeah. thank you for coming in. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank Again, you so much. Seventh Settlement Brewery is located right there in Dover, and we appreciate it, guys. I'm going to dig into that pretzel. We'll be awesome. right back. <laughs>